people. The people from each side are talking. They're talking. They're spewing venom against each other. And what a final encounter this has set up. In the port city, the Zahurama Chaudhry Stadium. What is going on everyone? This is Sunvir Saya Tan Tiger Zero One and MC Tamman One bring you your preview for the third and final encounter between the tigers and the lions in the poor city of Chittagong. Holy crap. Look at it this way. After what has gone down, the fact that the, a, a mundane fact, a mundane fact that Bangladesh and England took the same took the same flight no, took the same flight to to Chittagong from Dhaka just sitting across the aisle from each other that fact has been blown out of out of proportion no no sorry has been emphasized on the media need to chill bro but then again the media the media never knows how the media never knows how to chill. Remember that their job is not to report the news. Their job is to sell the, is to sell the news. When you sell the news, you you, you kind of have to, kind of have to you know act like whores. Coffee at certain times. But yeah. Holy crap, like I've seen some news news reports that actually have shown uh, the English media actually, uh, oh, holy crap, the English media trying to, let's say, protect England in their loss. Let's just say that, say Bangladesh did not play gentlemanly cricket, shut the fuck up, you know, you know, you know, indicating, you know, s such and such. The results will state Bangladesh beat England second ODI and anyone who followed who followed this the theories know that Bangladesh and England are quite evenly matched and people talk about England being under strength Bangladesh is under strength as well where is Mustafizur had we had Mustafizur I don't think England would have made even a single two first game they wouldn't have made a 250 second ma second game they wouldn't have even made a 200 People undersell how how important Mustafa was to our team. So no, we both are going out under strength. Both of us. So yeah, um, the, the the news coming out of the camp says I believe England might do some changes, but Bangladesh have have replaced uh, Tajul Islam with no Musharraf Hussain Rubel with Tajul Islam. Now. Does he play in the third ODI? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he should be given a given a chance, or maybe Bangladesh should just should, should just rely on Shakib and should rely on um, Nasser Nasser Hussain, uh, uh, Nasser Hussain, the part time of Mahmoudullah Riyadh. But what will be key, very key, is uh, like you know with with these part timers, they must make sure that they don't that they don't give away too many bad deliveries even Tasker Ahmed like at a press conference like after the match he or like you know before leaving for Chirigong he said that like you know the first spell he tried something a, a bit too extravagant he tried to uh, bowl too many short deliveries so hopefully that won't hopefully that won't happen you know these these, these wild experimentations that lead to failures won't happen and we will get a good game but given the hype going behind this game, given the hype, oh boy, oh boy, wouldn't it be an irony for any of the team that loses on Wednesday. Irony for England because England have run their mouth. Holy, even their coach. And this is this is surprising for me to see. Like we will not back down. 
Bitch! Balnish didn't do anything! Like, Balnish didn't show... Balnish, Balnish didn't, didn't show no fucking aggressive behavior for you to like say, Oh, we'll not beg. Shut the fuck up, how? I'm like, what did Balnish do? I look back at the handshake footage. No, there was no shoulder bump. Yeah, one of one of the players refused to shake hands with Tamim, but his hand was way out here. His shoulder was here. They just like, you know, missed hands. The shoulders didn't even make contact. What the fuck you talking about, man? And listen, listen, listen. Ben Stokes, wasn't this the guy that went for four sixes? Okay, never mind that. Yeah. Went for four sixes. And basically lost England the game against against West Indies. Yeah, take that. Take that, Stokes. Honestly. If this is if this is how you're gonna act, if this is how you're gonna act, then bro, go see some therapist. Go see a therapist. Okay? And let that therapist convince you. Convince you because that's what therapists actually do. Convince you that stuff like this happens in cricket. Okay? Stuff like this happens in cricket. Stuff like this happened with us as well. Asia Cup 2012. This happened. World T20 2016. This happened. Stuff like this happens in cricket. Okay? Get over it. Do not turn into another Grand Swan, who has now become the who has now become the pussy of cricket. Just sh showing, fucking showing up in a net like oh, oh boys I'm done. No, go suck dick then, suck dick. Pussy. Sorry, become a bit of a rant, but yeah. I don't know. Given uh, the coverage of this, it has sort of rejuvenated my inner. It rejuvenated my inner passion I have for the for the sport for the sport of cricket and behind the team of Bangladesh. Something has rejuvenated inside me. It's it's like that take no prisoners attitude. And that is actually a very good attitude to have. If you can fo if you can focus it right, like you know, how you act to people and all this in the name of productivity, it doesn't matter. It it it, it really doesn't matter. And this, this is the thing, uh, people forget this. People forget this. Like, you could be as fucking rude as you want. If, if you deliver, that's all that matters. As long as you're not physically harming other people or, or doing something illegal, you could be as fucking rude as you want. Just make sure how much ever, how much ever you, you, you achieve and, and you succeed, You know, it justifies what you do, like. You know, your behavior in the end, because let's face it, what would you rather be, a polite poor man, a polite failure, or a rude successful man, a rude a rude person, but you know who has achieved a lot. What would you rather be? With that principle, I want I want Bangladesh to take the field, not give in to, but however, not give in to the mind games of England, guys. England are playing mind games right now. They are starting to panic. In a way, you can say they are starting to panic. So, it would be an irony for them if they lose. Now, why would it be an irony for Bangladesh if they lose? Partly because of me, I guess. Because I, I, I'm sort of like, you know, like, you know, being the mouthpiece. Being the mouthpiece on YouTube for, Bang you know, for the Bangladesh, uh, passionate Bangladesh cricket fans. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, it, yeah, it will be a sort of embarrassing moment for me as well if Bangladesh loses. Either way, at the least I'm expect the least I'm expecting if Bangladesh lose, which, to be very honest with you, is a good possibility because now England are playing for their honor and to save their asses. <laughs> Excuse me, to save their asses. So it is a good possibility that England will beat Bangladesh. But the least I want is a competitive game. The least I want is a competitive game. 
like if Avalanche lose, they have to lose fighting hard, not fighting, fighting hard. Then at least like you know, you know like you know, we will have that satisfaction that we did not we did not just you know lay there and take it. And and Skip Bayless, oh sorry, uh, Trevor Bayless, he has actually said this like you know, Avalanche are no pushovers. You needed two games to learn that. After the what we learned from these two games, the Bangladesh are no pushovers. You needed two games to learn that. Did you not see 2015 when Bangladesh were turning all eyes on them, not on Australia, on them? On every team that came on our shores, we defeated them in series. Pakistan, we beat them 3 0. India, we beat them 2 1. South Africa, we beat them 2 1. And the, the second of the 2 1 victories, the two, the second of the two in that 2 1 victory came in the port city of Chittagong, where actually Shomu Sharkar played very well, but he's not in this team right now. But whatever. Whatever. He's not been playing very very good anyway. So let's hope the best friend will kite. Zimbabwe. So then even Afghanistan. Okay. And then 2014 Zimbabwe. Six home series in a row. Were you not watching, coach? Is that not your job? Your coaching team? Your your scout your your like you know training team is that not your job? It took you two matches to learn to learn that Bangladesh are no pushovers. So before this, you thought Bangladesh were pushovers, huh? Do you see the subtle tactics they're using just to ease the nerves, ease the nerves, e ease the nerve and the nervousness? within the English fans and the English cricket team. But anyways, if if in ca if in fact that is the case, then Bangladesh need to be very, very careful. Very careful. With a cool head, what Bangladesh need to do is actually win this match. And um, if you remember Shahad Hussain, he did this. After he took five wickets against, against India, he did this. Uh, Bangladesh need to do that and all of them need to like you know w w once the once like you know all the batsmen are out or like you know and um, once they won the game it, like if they win the game chasing the ball the, like the ball the batsmen towards the ball need to just do this fine get whatever get fined <laughs> no 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 okay you know you go right ahead and find Sabir Rahman. No, no. Go, go find Sabir Rahman. What's he going to be fined for? One test. Sabir Rahman doesn't play test. All right, you go, you go right ahead and do that. So, guys, th that's about it. Do let me know what your opening eleven for each team should be, given the conditions of Chittagong. Who would you pick? Who would you drop? And why would you do it? Also, give me your batting order for each team. Because especially with Bangladesh, I'm not too happy with Sabir Rahman being at number 3. But if you would keep him at number 3, do let me know. Alright, I'm looking forward to come suggestion. Oh, and by the way, Tamim Iqbal, it's time for you. It's time for you to show some fucking skill against England right now, alright? It's time for you to show up. You're in your home city, boy. Make us proud. This is Tam Montanvir side signing out.